Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, spinal cord ischemia is besides stroke probably the most feared um, complication of torico-abdominal repair. And uh, we, uh, we already saw this slide, the large variation in occurrence of spinal cord ischemia and torico-abdominal repair uh, in an endovascular way. Uh, and if we uh, look at this uh, old uh, publication from Roy Greenberg, we can see that both in endo and open repair, the uh, percentage of spinal cord ischemia differs very much depending on the type of, uh, uh, of aneurysm and the extent of the repair. Uh, to compare spinal cord ischemia outcomes between centers and between studies is really difficult and probably impossible. And this uh, depends uh, on the definition of the extent of disease or extent of repair, the type of aneurysm, because some series also include actually juxtarenal and suprarenal disease, but also on the definition of spinal cord ischemia, because there are so many different uh, degrees uh, from paraplegia to paraparesis, temporary, permanent, um, sensory, uh, uh, whatever, it's, it's a large vari variability in the definition, so we compare a lot of fruits with each other, and it's sometimes not really clear from the publications what the fruits actually are that we are looking at. Um, the concepts of spinal cord ischemia uh, go back to the work of uh, Albert Adamkiewicz, uh, who has defined the lower descending thoracic aorta segmental arteries to be, be the most important contributing to spinal uh, uh, artery flow. Um, recently, and this started with work by Michael Jacobs, um, uh, the experts believe a little bit more in the collateral network concept, uh, assuming that it is a, a number of different uh, contributing vessels, segmental arteries, but also, also others. Um, that uh, can, can contribute to spinal artery flow, and this has led to the uh, very well-known work of uh, Randy Grieb and Christian Etz, who have uh, de studied this in more detail uh, and, and framed it the term collateral network concept. There's another hypothesis, which we call the territory hypothesis, uh, which is uh, first described in this paper by Martin Czerny, and which makes it a little bit easier to understand it as it defines four different main territories contributing <coughs> to spinal artery flow. Uh, and this is very, very helpful because it gives us something to count and to define which patient is at a higher risk of spinal cord ischemia. This hypothesis is also supported by this work by Roy Greenberg's uh, group from Cleveland uh, that uh, um, described that the uh, revascularization of both hypogastric and subclavian artery uh, flow plays an important role in spinal cord uh, ischemia. Uh, it's very important to understand that, that spinal cord ischemia actually is a medullary compartment syndrome because of the uh, edema of the spinal cord uh, during ischemia and reperfusion. And if we take all of this together, it's actually, it's these co all these concepts are complementary complementing rather than com competing with each other, and they all have an important role in understanding spinal cord ischemia. So staging is something that has uh, uh, become very popular to avoid spinal cord ischemia, and the advantages are uh, that the collateral bat can uh, develop uh, during the waiting period for the final procedure. And another advantage can be that the second procedure is under local anesthesia where we can actually easily monitor uh, the spinal cord function of the patients. But there are also risks of staging our torque abdominal repair, which is that the patient can die, die in the time in between, uh, that there can be side branch occlusion um, and, and other issues. Um, if we look at other ways of spinal cord protection, uh, blood pressure measurement plays an important role. I think spinal cord uh, drainage has, uh, uh, has uh, become a standard in most of the um, expert centers, um, but also the reduction of risk factors like previous uh, um, supraortic artery occlusion or iatic artery uh, obstruction 
uh, can be helpful. And the staging, I will uh, draw your attention to two, uh, two topics that may not be so well known yet. Uh, the hypogastric arteries, uh, they may play a role uh, evenly important uh, compared to the, the, to the left subclavian artery. And we have started five years ago to, um, uh, to primarily uh, stent the hypogastric arteries during the complex endovascular repair. And you see the preliminary results here from our experience. Another important new concept is the uh, potential uh, preoperative segmental artery embolization, which has been called MISACE, um, and which is currently under trial in Europe, funded by the European Union in more than 20 centers. Um, uh, we randomize patients to a control arm, which is treated in the standard fashion, both in open and endovascular repair. And in the uh, trial arm, the patients receive one to three episodes of spinal uh, of segmental artery occlusion. I jump over a few slides because I see I'm, sh I'm, uh, sh I'm short of time. Just to show you some more uh, other concepts in, in staging techniques to prevent spinal cord ischemia, this is the concept uh, popularized by Krasi Ivanchev uh, with, a, with a perfusion branch in the grafts. This is an example from Hamburg that shows you that this allows uh, occlusion, final occlusion under local anesthesia. Other staging techniques are a temporary occlusion and uh, extension only with, a, with an uncovered stent. Sorry for jumping over these slides, I just don't want to go over time. Um, but I want to draw your attention also that the staging that has become so popular also includes some risks and these risks are that some patients may not complete the uh, repair because of complications during the first uh, stage of the repair and that patients may rupture as has been described in this uh, report by Stefano Long's group in 2015. And concluding, is, is there evidence for a staged approach uh, in uh, torque abdominal repair to prevent spinal cord ischemia? The answer is yes, there is evidence, but the uh, quality of evidence is relatively low. Thank you very much for your attention.